Hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord with me right now. Amen. Come on, somebody give God praise and glory right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. This morning we give God thanks for He's worthy. We exalt Him for He's good. Hallelujah. Oh, we need to hear from the Lord. Yes. I just want to bless God as we get ready for to hear a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share with you this morning as God has laid a word in my heart for his people. Just to let you know that the, the songs we play on this platform are, we have no copyright for them. But we want to thank God that we can share. Amen. In this forum, on this forum, God has been good to us. Earlier this morning, we met our brethren on another, another platform. Right now, we are tuning in to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. We need to hear from the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to hear from the Lord. We need to hear from the Lord. We need to hear from the Lord. Somebody say, Lord, we need to hear from you. Hallelujah. I want to invite you to turn at me as I share from the word of God to St. Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41 and we'll also be reading Exodus chapter 14 verse 13 to 14 and as you get ready to um, read I just want to invite you to bow your heads now while I pray Heavenly Father we thank you we worship you, we adore you, we exalt you, we lift you up. God, we ask you right now to speak a word to the heart of your people. In this time, Lord, of so much disturbances, I pray you show up, Lord. Let your anointing fill this place, fill this atmosphere right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We know the devil is a liar. Ah, he comes to confuse and to destroy but jesus you have come lord to give peace and to build back we tell you thanks now in jesus name i want to use for a subject this morning peace be still peace be still and so i come to you from saint mark chapter 4 and verse 35 Amen to 41. It says, And the same day when the evil was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. Red book. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves Amen. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of a ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How was it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea, hallelujah, obey him. Exodus 14, verse 13 and 14. Amen. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians we have seen today, he shall see them again no more. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. 
This morning, as the Lord lays his word on my heart, I want to begin by sending a word to the government of Jamaica. Our people have been real, should I say tolerant and real um, long-suffering, not just us alone, but in America and all over the world. We have been so compliant by and large as we endeavor to deal with the pandemic called COVID-19. But in the same breath, our people, especially us, let me speak for the church, we have had to close our doors. Thousands of our people have not been to church since last year, uh, March, because they have been told that once they are 60 or 65, stay home, and 70, and they have been very compliant. Our churches have adjusted how we operate. Many of our people can come, people can come to church except they are on the list for this week or on the 9 to 10 list or the 9, 10 to 11 list or the 11 to 12 list. And they have been very compliant. We have shut our churches. We, we have not been able to have any convention where people would get delegates would come in from abroad and would mingle they have been very good we have not had crowds in our churches we have suffered financially in many instances yet when we close our churches and i've been so kind because we love to obey the law the word of god says obey them that have the rule over us. And Mr. Government, you have the rule over us and have obeyed you. Yet we see parties being held on yachts, on the boats, on the ocean. We see you having your parties downstairs and in your ivory palaces where you live. And so while our churches are closed, life continues for you. You still sell your Hennessy. You still sell your wine and you still sell your things. And things are going on our churches. By and large are suffering financially. I send a word to you Mr. Government. Our God will not stand back and watch the kingdom of God destroyed. So while we are being compliant, I ask you, you also be compliant. Spread the restriction right across Jamaica. Whether you're a millionaire, or a thousand year, or a hundred year, in Jesus' name, let us all stay off the road and let us watch the crowd and don't gather them in your big barbecue at home or your big um, hall of, of dance at home. While we can't go to church, you're having your dance and your parties and life continues and you get sick and carry it to workplace. And we all suffer because we work where you work. Government, we ask you to call in and rein in those people who don't respect the law because they are rich and powerful. We know them. We see them. Many of them are keepers of the law, are renting out their own places that they're supposed to shut down. They are renting them out to keep dance while they come and lock down our churches and lock up our leaders in the name of Jesus I speak as God laid it on my heart. God will fight for us. Do not incur the anger of God. We are going to keep our churches closed. We are going to keep our people safe. We are going to stay home. But you also stay home. Mr. Mr. Millionaire. You also shut down your place of entertainment Mr. Millionaire. You don't collect money for Hennessy. We can't collect our offering in the name of Jesus. Because COVID, don't ask if you're a bishop, a policeman, or a superintendent of police, or a politician. COVID, kill everybody in the name of Jesus. Let's protect all of us. 
I speak as a servant of God. And I speak this morning with all the authority that God has given to me. I speak as a voice of one crying in the wilderness. God's people want to worship in the church house. But in the name of decency and law abiding, we have kept our churches closed. You shut down your clubs. Shut down your, your meeting places. And let's protect the country. Let's see us go back to normal in the name of Jesus. We are tired of it now. Tired of a double standard. We are sick and tired of it. Let's flatten the curve now. We all live in this rock. And we all want to survive. Amen. Let's see COVID-19 go. When you also dock your boat. And I go have the dance for your boat. In Jesus name. Peace be still. Hallelujah. Peace is a decision. It is God's will and desire that we live a life of peace. God wants us to have peace. God wants us to have peace. But you have to be, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision that I'm going to live a life of peace. The decision has to be made because if you don't decide to live in peace, then you're going to find you can create atmosphere around you every time where all you can get is anger and war but i come this morning to say the lord said to jamaica peace be still before jesus left the earth he declared to his disciples this is what he says my peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not the peace as the world give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid st john 14 verse 27 before jesus left he said if there's anything i'm going to give you people of god is i'm going to give you my peace my peace i leave with you he said the peace i give is not the peace but the world accustomed to because the lack of the lack of war doesn't mean there is peace the lack of war could mean that somebody is oppressing somebody and so people have to draw into their shell. So the absence of war doesn't mean peace. I heard one of our popular um, Jamaican amen, musician before he died, he said, I don't want no peace. I want justice because outside of justice, there can't be no peace. My God, when people see double standard, you can't speak as justice. It will cause war to break out. Another translation of the same St. John 14 says, When I am leaving, what I am leaving you is peace. Jesus said, I'm giving you my peace. I don't give the way the world gives. He said, don't let yourself be upset or frightened. This morning as I preach to the word of God to God's people, I am hearing the frustration coming out. People are getting frustrated. And what I'm hearing more than anything else, amen, is people are saying the, the, the laws are not evenly being, amen, applied across the board. I hear people that are so dear to me, Amen. Rebelling in their spirit and speaking words of anger against what they see happening in the system. Because while they are held in shackles in one area, in the next area, other people walk free. We want peace in this country. Each time that God's people face uncertain times, and every time God's people face danger, God always, before he corrects the danger, first of all, he says, let me give you a word of assurance. Let me restore peace. When God does what he does, he does it because he wants his people to live in peace. He wants people to live in quiet. He wants his people, amen, to experience the peace of God. 
Amen. Just an example of when God gonna bring, amen, a correct system. He always says, be still. Here is what David said, amen, to King Saul before he took on Goliath. David said to King Saul, a young boy, maybe 17 years old, he said, King, oh King, live forever. Let not man's heart fail because of Goliath. First Samuel 17 verse 32 he said don't let your heart fail he said don't let your heart be frightened because of Goliath in the name of Jesus Christ can I call on Jamaica right now can I call on our leaders amen in the apostolic faith amen who know what it is to speak under the authority of the apostolic anointing let us not curse let us declare in the name of Jesus a peace over this land hallelujah blood has run enough now we notice that the devil is not killing in one and two anymore he's killing in threes and fours amen the heart of man has gotten so saturated and bloodthirsty that a man will pass and see six men sitting on a wall and just pray them with the hope of killing all six devil the blood of Jesus is against you now and we see you for who you are amen you are killing off our men our men our male because man carried his seed hallelujah and if you kill the seed you kill a generation and I notice that you are killing them now at 22 21 23 amen 18 19 you are a young schoolboy 17 was murdered I think this week because devil you are setting out to kill a seed I notice that you're doing it and you think the church is gone to sleep but in the name of Jesus let me tell you devil if you think you have power Jesus when he came back from the dead he said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth and he said church what you bind on earth is bound in heaven he said church what you loose on earth is loose in heaven we'll be binding bloodshed on earth right now we're binding bloodshed on earth and we're losing peace over this country in the name of jesus can i can i preach a word a, 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 a prophecy right now we are gonna see men just voluntarily if you continue in your bloodshed if you continue killing people you are gonna voluntarily walk up Maxwell Avenue walk down Boulevard I mean people ask you where you're going I am going to the station who send you I don't know who send me but a voice in my head say I must go down to the station in the name of Jesus you're gonna see them walking from street to street you're gonna see them walking through new kingston walking through amen chelani bush coming towards the station because the angel of the lord are loosing them right now the angels of fire makashanda the angels of fire i'm loosing them in your camps right now anywhere your camp anywhere you hold up anywhere your plan any any cave you're into any tunnel you're into and any house you're into ascending right now throughout the length and breath of Jamaica somebody stand with me now in apostolic authorities come on somebody stand with me now hold up your hand and declare let it be so Lord you're gonna watch them listen this is not for the for the, for the benefit of, of, of overseer Golding this is not for my benefit but for the glory of God but for the glory of God we're sick and tired of men just killing our brothers and sisters killing our mothers and children killing him like a shanda in the name of Jesus policeman you can't manage it by yourself so let me do what God always do good let me declare it in the heavens over the four corners of Jamaica east west north and south fire koshata in the name of Jesus and we're declaring it now we're gonna light some fire but not with matches we're gonna light some fire but not with kerosene 
kerosene. We're gonna light some fire, but not with gas. We're gonna light some fire, but not with him man paraffin. We're gonna light some Holy Ghost anointed fire all over Jamaica. Anyway, you're the right now. Just shout fire! Fire! fire. The in the name Jesus. of Jesus. We we'll take my peace Hallelujah. in this country. All right, we're tired to negotiate. The negotiation is over in the name of Jesus. Uh, loose, come on, angels. Uh, I call angels now from the four corners of, of heaven is right now. In the name of Jesus, right in right now and curfew this country. Not the soldiers and the police, uh, but the angel of the Lord, Mr. Politician. Uh, if you get caught, God help you. Hold on, Mr. Superintendent, if you get caught, God help you. Shonda, Mr. Constable, if you're a part of it, God help you. Because all of you, my God Almighty, going to walk up the road where you're going, are going to the station and are going to confess that I'm a murderer. I hear one of our leading artists declare, murderer, blood is on your shoulder. You kill me today, you can't kill me tomorrow. Well, here right now, you're not getting the seed. Church of God, people of God, Jamaica, listen to this. Anytime you see men and young men especially being murdered, it's because God is about to rise up some prophets and the devil don't know who they are. So what the devil does, he kill blanketly. You remember Pharaoh? Herod, you remember Herod when Jesus was born? When Jesus was born. Herod never knew who the baby was. So Herod said, every baby, amen, from a certain age down, amen, he said, kill them. And he sent his soldiers out. And they went. And the Bible said there was there was crying in Ramah because Herod was loosing bloodshed. People were dying. They were just coming to people's houses and taking the children and running the swords through their hearts and throwing them in fire. In the Makoshanda. Well, world, 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 Jamaica, 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 in the name of Jesus, when God wanted to protect that baby, amen, Jesus was, was extracted out of Galilee, out of Bethlehem, and he was sent out to Egypt, and for a number of years, he was in Egypt until the death of Herod. Well, hear this now, hear this now, hear this now. The same God who Shonda, who defended Jesus Christ, the baby, is the same God who will defend Jamaica. And so he says, Lord, send the help from the sanctuary, and send us help out of Zion, Lord Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost power. I feel heaven responding right now. Who is this preacher man? I don't care who I am. It doesn't matter now. I don't matter what God has given me a word to give to the people. And if my people, my Bashata, that are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will hear heal your land. Amen. That's a word from God. But there comes a time when God can't wait on you to turn. Hey, Mama Kashanda, he's tired of waiting for us to turn because we not turn. So God said, Nebuchadnezzar, look on the wall and tell me what you see. He said, meaning, meaning, take it. Makashanda, you have been weighed in the balance, Nebuchadnezzar, and you have been found wanting. Nebuchadnezzar, who said, great Babylon that I have built, as he played on his, on his stringed instrument, he walked around Babylon. They tried to kill Daniel. They tried to kill the Hebrew boys. They tried to shut down the word of God. Well, God said, Nebuchadnezzar, look on the wall. He saw the finger writing on the wall. He said, Mini, Mini, in the name of Jesus. Well, there's a writing on the wall right now. And God is saying, you know what God did to Nebuchadnezzar? He sent Nebuchadnezzar out, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, to eat grass for seven years. Well, God, we take him back to our country. 
We're taking back Jamaica in the name of Jesus. We are taking back Jamaica. We are tired of being known as a murder capital of the world. We are tired of being known as a bloodshed people. We are tired of breaking the records as committing the most murders. We're sick and tired of it. And right now, in the name of Jesus, it's time for peace. <laughs> it's time for peace. That the peace of God. Motion. You know, when Egypt, when Pharaoh had Israel in captivity for a long time, for 430 years, Israel was in captivity for 430 years. The Egyptians said, go, and they went. The Egyptians said, come, and they came. They had them under bondage. But then there came a time when God said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to free my people. People. So the Bible said, God called Moses. Now Moses was in Egypt for 40 years. And when Moses could not defend because Moses felt that he could defend them by killing off their enemies. They went after Moses. He had to run away. But he ran and went all the way to Horeb. And while Moses was there with Jethro, his father-in-law, God called him at 80 years old. At eight years old god called moses he said moses my god he said you have been a young man in egypt you're an old man in the desert but you're not too old for god to call you and send you so i'm sending you back to egypt and i'm sending you to pharaoh the man who you fear i'm sending you to him and when you go down there tell him that i've seen the oppression of my people people Israel and I've now come to deliver them when you go down there tell Pharaoh him to let my people go when Moses said God I can't talk God said come here Aaron him can't talk him stammer well you talk on him do hallelujah to God so Moses took Aaron in front of Pharaoh and he said, Pharaoh, God sent me down and down Egypt to tell you, let my people go. Pharaoh said, who you, where you come from? Which God sent you? Because the only God I know down here is, a, is me, Pharaoh. Ah, Koshanda. And the gods of the Pharaohs ah, that have all died off. Ah, my Koshanda. Ah, those are the gods I know. Which God you're talking about? Ah, me, me, Moses said, let me give you an example of the God I'm talking about. Ah, he said, come here and drop your rod. When Aaron dropped his rod, his rod became a serpent. Pharaoh said, come on now. That's not power. He called in Janis and Jambres. He said, Janis and Jambres, drop your rod. He said, let me show you that I am equally as powerful as you because that's where the world reach now. Everybody, as soon as they get two and two and two, you feel powerful. And as soon as you get this, you feel powerful. Well, Janis and Jambres drop their rod. But God said, more Moses, show him now. I'm going to show you now. That is not the number. It's a poor Koshama. And it's two against one. And the Bible said that Moses' rod just swallowed up their rod. No, they don't have no rod to use. God is about to unscale you. My God Almighty is about to descale you. He's about to scrape up the scale out for you and expose your demon of darkness. And every day you sit down in your high places and you're calling down the demons of bloodshed. You're calling out the demons. I'm going to shanda. In my sleep one night, the Lord showed me these demons. I saw them. I won't describe them because it'll cause fear in the minds of the unbelievers. But as I saw them, God said, these are the things that are sucking the blood of this country. I saw blood dripping off their teeth, their fangs. And I said, God, I'm going to shanda. As a man, I shivered in my spirit, in my, in my body. But as a son of God, I felt emboldened in my spirit to tell you that we are about to eat up your serp, your rods. We're about to take away your power and bring it back in Shonda. God is calling us back to righteousness. Ah, Koshanda, come on, somebody, hold the line wherever you are. Amen.
as I preach this word, just hold the line. I soon stop. But I'm a kashanda. As somebody said, fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when Moses began to show fear of who God was, the water of Egypt turned blood. Frogs was all over the land. Lies took them over. A big mouth shut up. And everything. And the more God did, is the more in faith the heart of Pharaoh was hardened until God said, All right. Right. You have been killing my people now for a long time. It's time for me to kill yours. And so God said to Moses, I wanted to tell the people of Israel to kill a lamb and take a blood and paste on their door, lintel, because I'm about to kill them. I'm about to shit I'm about to stand I'm about to kill some people in Egypt here because we're not listening up. And we take God to Papi Show and we think God has lost his power. But the mercies of God. God will never override the justice of God because he is a God I saw him merciful he's still a just God and what's good for the goose is good for the gander what's good for the poor is good for the rich and no wonder we have these outbreaks in this country because the rich walk around in your ivory palaces and you feel nobody can talk to you and you're so awesome and powerful and in any at all anything is being done it's a poor that suffers while you go free in the name of Jesus. God like Moses has sent me down to Egypt to tell you to let God's people go and let justice prevail and let justice reign and let justice come alive. Hallelujah. We are sick and tired of a double standard. It's time for God's people to have peace. And when more and Pharaoh wouldn't listen, you know what God did to Pharaoh? The Bible said, 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 Moses said to Israel that I'm gonna pass over Egypt at midnight. Midnight, I'm passing over Egypt. And when I pass over, I am looking for the blood on the door. And anywhere I don't see the blood on the door, any firstborn in that house, I'm gonna kill them. You hear me? I'm gonna you you, you you kill people, no? Yes, I want to kill and kill and kill. It's God's time now to turn the boat on you, to turn things over on you. It's God's time now to turn over. Did you know that God gives life and He take it away? Did you know that God, Hallelujah, declare how long you live? You walk around and broad in a shoulder. You drink a sort of concoction and it make you mad. You talk about it, give you power. He's not giving you power. He's killing you in the name of Jesus. Well. Let me help you before it kill you. Hallelujah. That night when God passed over Egypt, my God, the Bible said there was crying in the whole land of Egypt because the God of the God of justice took over in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said in Goshen, where Israel lived, there was peace. God won't give me peace. And God went raise fire, Mama Kashanda, in your hell where you live because more give his people peace in this earth yes we shall have peace because when jesus came amen isaiah declared he shall be called the mighty god the everlasting father he shall be called the prince of peace and so right now we want peace in this country we're tired of it in the name of jesus and so god led his people to using moses led them out of israel out of egypt guess what when they reach up the when they reach the Red Sea the Bible said God could have led them to bypass the Red Sea but if he led them that way they would have seen war and get nervous we're tired of it we're nervous now yes 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 so God said lead them to the Red Sea let me show them another spectacular power that I have so when he led them my God to the Red Sea amen Pharaoh said let's get them and so Bible said Pharaoh took over 600 of his chosen chariots uh, and all the chariots of Egypt uh, and the captives every one of them Pharaoh said let's go get them back because they, they, they're gone we can't get them back because we have the power over them who told you that you have the power over the church come on now who told you that you have the power over the people of God who gave you that power where do you get it from you cannot get it my friend you cannot get it you cannot get it so i take it take it all right god said 
lead them behind Israel. So they came behind Israel. When they came to Israel, the people of Israel said, Oh, Moses, Moses, Moses. Look, they look, they look, the fear are coming. That's where the church reach now. That's where we reach now. We are saying, Lord, 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 look, they look, they look, they look what's going on. We we're afraid. We we're afraid. God said to his people, I'm going to show you why you must not be afraid. He said, You see them people are coming. You know why they are coming? Because once and for all, I'm going to make sure that I take care of them. God is about to line up his justice. Amen. I said, God is about to line up his justice. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Oh, you're laughing. <laughs> All right. All right. You know, when God told Elisha to tell Samaria that tomorrow this time shall a fine flower be sold for, for two shekels, you know who laughed? The king's armor bearer laughed. He said, nothing can go so. Well, the man of God said, listen now, it going go so, but you won't even get a, get a pint of the floor. They when, 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 when increase came for Samaria, the Bible said that they pushed down the gate and drop on him and trample him. Yeah, I'm, Oh, come on, come on, come on now. The name of Jesus. The prophet is wrath. The prophet Moshanda. The prophet is angry in the spirit because too much double standards in this land called Jamaica. It's time for peace. Amen. So when God lined up at the Red Sea, you know what God did? He was leading Israel with a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. He took the cloud and put it between Israel and Egypt. So while Israel was getting light and, and sunshine, Egypt was seeing pure darkness. I saw God, I will fix your business for you because you're not listening, you know. You feel you're powerful. And that's the thing. That's the thing with people who have a little more than some away. Amen. You feel all powerful. But did I know the word of God says, I give Give you, God says, I give you the power to create wealth. Who gave you? God gave you the power to create wealth. Yes, it's in the word. I give you the power. It is God that give up the power to create wealth. So never ever feel that it's because of your smartness or because you're wiser than all of you. No, God gave it us of the power and the wisdom to create wealth. You know what happened to Egypt? That night, God began to blow a big east wind. It parted the Red Sea. Here was God to Moses when the people got nervous now and got nervous. God said to Moses, Tell the people, Moses said, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians who you have seen today, you shall see, see them again, again no, no more, more forever. forever. The Lord shall fight for you. And he shall, and you, Moses, while I'm fighting for you, you shall hold your peace. Did you know that the early church, the Bible said people sometimes wouldn't worship with them because there, were, there, there, was, there was great fear of them? It's not that they were afraid, they were not working over, but the power of God was so manifested among them that one prayer meeting nearly shaped on the house they were praying in. I saw God powerful. God is awesome. God is powerful. God is awesome. And God will do anything for his people to have peace. A closing on this one. Even the elements have to be subject to the power of God. When Jesus was on that boat, and going across the ocean, the, the sea began to rage and create war on Jesus. Jesus was sleeping because he gave the peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. He gives the peace in the midst of the storm. The disciples said, Master, 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 don't you care that you're perishing? Jesus said, Why are you fearful? Guys, why don't have faith? He says, as long as I am on this boat, it can't sink. Don't you realize that? I am on it. So if I am on this boat, it can't sink. Because I'm there. And my, my mission is not yet fulfilled. Can I just talk to a prophet of God? Who feel nervous now? And afraid? Listen to this. You will never die until you fulfill 
the will of God. You will never, die. you cannot die until purpose is accomplished in your life. Do your work. Stop worrying about death. Death is just a transition from life to eternal life. Death is a transition from war to peace. Death is just a transition. My God, amen. Don't be afraid of them. If God don't say die, you can't die. If God said live, you're going to live. So in the meantime, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke. Let mankind know that God still is in charge. God still. So I call you to faith. Develop your faith. Word of God says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So what God is calling you to, more than anything else, is faith. Ask, and it shall be given. Don't be afraid to ask. Ask in faith. Seek and you shall find. Knock and God's door shall be opened unto you. This is a word from the Lord. You cannot kill the prophet until purpose is fulfilled. The prophets of God will speak the word until the world get the message. Then shall the end come. I hear the sound Makoshanda of abundance of rain. I hear the trumpets about to be blasted. Come home, children of God. In the meantime, repent, Jamaica, and be buried in the repent of your sins. Be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Get the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give you utterance. Act 2, verse 4. Go repent. Don't negotiate with God. Go repent. God is waiting for you. And when you repent, God will hear your prayer. Peace be still, people of God. Peace be still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're coming out of Egypt. We're going across the Red Sea. Red Sea of poverty. Red Sea of distress. Red Sea of fear. Oh, oh shut up. Hallelujah. We don't have a copyright for this song. But let's do it. It's a word from the Lord. Ah. You have one again, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the Holy Ghost. 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 I speak over this atmosphere right now into your life as you battle with sickness. I come on healing over your body right now in the name of Jesus. As you are about to see your house foreclosed, I speak a reversal of a foreclosure right now. Let money come, money come, come money. Come to the hand of the children of God. Let them pay their debts. We come against the, 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 the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Peace be still over there. Peace be still. Victory. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Come to our rescue, Lord. Send your angels of fire. 
life and camp around your people, Lord. Every ministry, never mind with son. Hallelujah. Every house, Lord, and camp around your people, Lord. Defend your people, God. You defend in Israel in the midst of a mass death of Egypt. We thank you, Lord, for those who are here right now. Touch them, Lord. Minister to them. Let somebody be saved. We thank you for your words. We bless you now for showing up this morning, Lord, in this manner. Thank you for showing up, sir. Uh, thank you for winning again for us, Lord. We can't manage them, Lord, but you can win for us. You have won again. Save some people now, Lord. Let them repent of their sins. Baptize in the name of Jesus. Go the mission of your sin. Receive the Holy Ghost. Speak it in tongues. I just speak what you To live life in this present world for you. Thank you now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody declare it. You have won again. Victory in the name of Jesus. You have won again. Victory. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. In the midst of our tears. We are saying victory. In the name of Jesus. In the midst of our crying for justice. We are saying victory. In the name of Jesus. I want to shine in the midst. Our people trampling on our rights. We are saying them one again. In Jesus' name. Victory. In Jesus' name. God bless you. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, you have one again. You have one again, Lord. You have one again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hey. Come on, some people worship God. We have no copyright for these songs. But oh, we're going to hear them worship God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Revive us again. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Sing it, church of God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah online. Shout hallelujah online. In the name of Jesus. Come on, type hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, get crazy, put it online. You have one again. Put hallelujah online, dear church of God. People of God. Yes, man, hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. Flood the atmosphere, hallelujah. Flood it with hallelujah. Flood it with hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Bloody hallelujah line. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes. 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 Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He, you have won again. Amen. God bless you. We're sending out now. Thanks for joining with us. Watch for the word of God to be fulfilled. In Jesus' name, amen.